These members of Jabhat al-Nusra wave the black jihadist flag on a tank they have captured from the Syrian army, an important victory for these radical Islamists against Bashar al-Assad's regime. Sheikh Suleiman was the last major military base west of Aleppo still in the hands of Syria's armed forces. For several months, it has been assailed by several hundred determined armed rebels, their aim to install a caliphate in Syria. All the constitutional laws in the world cannot make people happy. They are even the root of many dictatorships such as here in Syria. We are tired of these regimes. The response is to apply Sharia law. That is the cause for which we will die. We will go to heaven as martyrs. The Free Syrian Army is not officially linked to Jabhat al-Nusra, nor will the jihadist group be incorporated in the United Command to be announced Wednesday. But on the ground, the Free Syrian Army and the Islamists are working together, as one of Franz Van Kett's observers, an FSA local commander, told us. Since the international community left us high and dry, we have been prepared to work with any group taking up arms against Bashar al-Assad. We collaborate with them regularly to confront Assad's army and liberate the city of Aleppo. Many members of Jabhat al-Nusra are foreigners. It is said to be an offshoot of al-Qaeda in Iraq. These are mostly people who went to Iraq to fight the American occupation and the Shiite enemy, and who have now passed in the other direction. On Monday, the United States decided to list Jabhat al-Nusra as a terrorist organization.